Hello everyone, this is Tanner the Banana here, and today we are going to ask some questions that are sent to me from the last video that I did. I'm not talking about the ones with my cousins, I'm talking about the one before that. You know, the one that Banana Chew had to answer that came from the, uh, ant the, question, uh, the questions machine. Anyways, we're going to take a look at another question machine, and that would be my iPad. Now, some of you sent me some pretty good questions right here. Now, the first question that we're going to do is, well, a comment that's not even in the comments list right now. I don't even know how that happened. This question is from Tuffy Tufts. Tuffy Tufts. Yeah, I think I, I pronounced that right. Tuffy Tufts. And he asked, Why is your username Tanner the Banana? Do you like bananas? Well, yes. I do like bananas. I mean, who doesn't? Um, other than my sisters who uh, do not even like the sight of bananas or anyone else who has a banana allergy hmm I should add a footnote to banana chew if he encounters a person who is allergic to bananas he's the guy for the job but really the reason why my username is Tanner the banana is because I found it quite clever you know, from, like, my childhood. You know the the thing where everyone goes, uh, like, Tanner, banana, fanana, 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 except with others, with everyone else's names. Like, let's say my younger sister Zoe, for example. For example, others go, Zoe, Bowie, fanana, fanana, Bowie. But yeah, in this case, it would be Tanner Banana or Tanner Banana Fafana Fana Fafana. Sometimes I'm called Tanner ba the Banana or Tanner Banana, Tanner the Banana. Whatever suits better for you. But personally, I found Tanner the Banana a pretty good username because I found it quite clever. And because I've watched this uh, YouTuber called uh Vanna Melon. Val Vanna Melon. She's a she's a water watermelon uh YouTuber. Um she she does impressions like let's say um let's say Isabel from Animal Crossing. Uh maybe maybe like 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 friggin' Fluttershy from from My Little Pony. Owen, oh, if that if if me saying that disgusted you, ignore that. Completely ignore that. If you don't want to watch a YouTuber who does My Little Pony impressions, uh, don't don't watch don't watch that. On to the next question. This one is from Tanini Pani. Tanini Panini. Uh, his or her, um, her comment, his or her comment says, This is the best channel. Keep it up. Thank you, Tini Panini. Tani Tanini Panini. I will, de I will definitely keep it up. And sorry if I gotten your username wrong. Anyways, next question. And this one is from an old friend from my school. I don't, I don't think I see her anymore at the school. I, I think she graduated. She pro She definitely graduated. She definitely graduated. And uh, her question is... Actually, she's got... She's got two questions. She says... 
What is your favorite play we did in school? And what was your favorite role you played? McKenna, the current play that I liked the most, it's gotta... Oh boy. Um, I do like doing the Pirates of Panzense, and I do like playing the Major General. There were some technical difficulties. But I do also like playing the Little Mermaid, and I do like playing Sebastian. Pirates of Panzense, I had a difficult, I had technical difficulties. Emily, she had def, de technical difficulties. Uh, okay, if I had to choose one, I would most definitely say The Little Mermaid. And I definitely loved, loved playing Sebastian. It was a great time. <laughs> uh, if, if, if all of you were there to see the play, you would laugh, you would cry. You'd laugh, you'd cry. It move. It would move you. I I guarantee it. It it would be a great opportunity. Now, the the now she also asked, "What is your favorite movie?" My favorite movie? Well, that would be that would be. Oh boy, I have a lot of favorite movies my favorite movie I gotta say my favorite movie as of right now would of course I'd say like Avengers Endgame because that is the best one out of every other Avengers or Marvel movies but you know what I'm gonna have to say that I most definitely liked the core the, the Mortal Kombat movie. It was an amazing masterpiece and <laughs> I would definitely watch it again. In fact, I watched it twice with my dad. The Mortal the new the newer Mortal Kombat movie. It was a masterpiece. It was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Now, the next one came from BD Bodozer 15, also known as Bo. Now he's asked, he's also asked two questions. He asks, what is your favorite anime? Oh, it would definitely be JoJo's. I've watched JoJo's season one, two, and three. Netflix counts season uh, three as season two, along with season two as just season two, in case you were uh, one being confused. Season three is actually season four. Uh, don't ask me why, Bo. It's just net. It's Netflix. It's just Netflix. So don't ask me. I don't know. The seasons are just the seasons, so you're just going to have to roll with them. But yeah, JoJo's the best. And, uh, Joseph Joestar's the best JoJo ever. Screw, just, screw Jotaro. Uh, screw, uh, screw Jonathan Joestar. Uh, screw George, most of all. Joseph Joestar is the best Joestar ever. No questions asked. Hands down, best JoJo ever. Season 2 for the win, best intro ever. Without a doubt. And he's also asked, What is my favorite video game? My favorite video game? That's a pretty good one. I like a lot of good video games. I would have to say though, it would be, it would be, it would have to be, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna have to be the Marvel Spider-Man movies. Cause, let's be on, let's be on, 
Actually, you know what? Eh, no, the VR. Actually, the VR version is quite good. I enjoyed swinging on buildings in first person. But, uh, the Marvel's Spider-Man uh, storyline has a good... It, 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 has, it, it has story, so I'm going to have to say the Marvel Spider-Man series. Marvel's Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and quite possibly the Marvel Spider-Man 2 that is going to come out sometime next year, depending. The next question we have is from my this is from my I think this is Tristan he asks yeah this is definitely my cousin Tristan he asks does Tanner the banana have any superpowers why I definitely do have superpowers in fact they are 10% of God's powers and mainly anime But if you haven't seen the my superpowers video, I will definitely leave a link below so that you can watch it and I'm not, I'm not gonna list out all my powers like right now if, if you want to if you want to know what my superpowers are You're just gonna have to click the link below but anyways continuing on this next one is from Carter. He asks, When will Darth Vader return? Sometime in the future. Hopefully pretty soon, I, I guess. There isn't much time telling of when he'll return, but I think I might invite Lord Vader over for, ah, uh, a Star Wars like Battlefront 1? That depends. I have played Battlefront before in the past, like a year ago, May the 4th. I might bring him in like next year for that. Depends. The next question is from Taco77. The other Carter. There are many people who are named Carter. Not not to get any confused with the Vader Carter. With the Red Dead Carter. And he asks, Who is your favorite antagonist in Red Dead 2? Micah, Dutch, Milton, Skinner's, Serial Killer, etc. Ooh boy. My favorite antagonists? I'm gonna have to go with Dutch, man. I'm gonna have to go with Dutch. Mainly because, well, he is crazy in his own ways, but he is pretty sensible. Like, he's just trying to, fu he's fighting to survive. Meanwhile, Micah, Micah just friggin' like, kills Jack's dog. Jack Wick. The next puppy murderer hunter. The Miltons? Ah, uh, he's he's a he's a he's a jack. I'm gonna put that out there. Milton is a jack, and uh, the serial killers and the Skinners. Well, they're, they're just really killable. So yeah, Dutch has the most brain out of all of them. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Dutch, Dutch is the better antagonist. So yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And with that out of the way, the Q&A for me is over.
If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I will get back to you when I can. Until then, this has been Tanner the Banana, and I will see you later. Bye-bye!